Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're back from Sparkles College with a new lecture for you. Before I start, I just want to request you all to please subscribe our channel for, you know, continuous updates, continuous lectures that are good to enlighten you with these absolutely amazing concepts which are going to be useful in your daily lives as well. Alright, so uh, after you're done with subscribing, let's just start with the topic. So it's ethical dilemmas in business right so that that was our number two objective of this course introduction to business ethics so that was the number two um, you know goal that we have to achieve in this course that is to understand the ethical dilemmas in the business right so uh, we were discussing uh, business ethics all this time and you know before moving on to ethical dilemmas in particular, I'd like to give you an overview of what business ethics is, right? So we very well know that business ethics is the study of business conditions, activities and decisions where concerns of right and wrong are addressed, right? So business ethics is basically the study of those business conditions and activities and such decisions which are, you know, uh, where you're not just worrying about profit or you're not worrying about one thing but you have to address the concerns of right and wrong right which are dependent upon the moral principles which the point number two says as well that these are the moral principles that guide the way of that guide the way a business behaves having said that uh, we should also know that you know uh, our personal ethics are deemed as the groundwork for running ethical businesses so one needs to understand that personal ethics are the groundwork they're the base they're the foundation of any business any ethical business that gets successful why because it's working on business ethics it's working on responsibility trust behavior principle relationship choice reliability morality all these things right all these things are a very strong aspect of the of this course business ethics all of these things are like pillars that are gonna make your business ethics stand in an organization and then obviously it's gonna help you uh, it's gonna help an organization to develop itself to be recognized as a company that is very much ethical that just doesn't work on you know uh, self-benefit principle but it works on the benefit of the society it works on the benefit of the employees it works on the benefit of the customers the clients all the stakeholders investors junior staff everyone who's employed or who's actually having a stake in the business uh, any person i want to give a definition over here as well to um, you know let people know if you're not clear with it so any person who is interested in the business who has some kind of stake in the business who has some kind of you can say uh, you know um, he has invested something in the business is a stakeholder so business ethics basically have a very sound and very uh, you can say strong link with the stakeholders that any person to, that was involved in a business who has some kind of stake some kind of risk involved by getting associated with that company that person is the stakeholder right so in case in that case let me give you an example of employees employees are also stakeholders why because they're investing their time they're investing their effort and not only this that when they when they're once they have invested their effort they what do they need in return they need the amount they need the salary they need the you know uh, whatever they have done for the business they want to be paid for it they want to earn their living so they have some sort of interest in the business some sort of uh, you know you can say stake in the business that their jobs are at stake right they have to perform that's one thing of the employees talking about the stakeholders who are the investors they have invested their money right so once they've invested their money they want some returns for the business they want it they want to have the returns uh you know so they have some kind of stake as well so it's not just that you are gonna ask these stakeholders to give you everything and in return you're not gonna give them anything right it's not when i'm not talking about monetary terms over here if an employee is not feeling well is in a very critical condition or if an employee is going through a very you can say you know bad situation in life and you just expect him to be there present all the time why because you told him that you have to work five times a day five days a week right so this this thing is not something that you will say is coming under business ethics if the person 
has a genuine reason i'm just giving an example okay and you're still not allowing him a time off or you're still saying that no uh, you know you you should be there at office that is something you, that you're not following business ethics you are just you just want his services for money to earn profit but you're not just you know taking the responsibility or show, showing some kind of morality towards that employee that okay you know i trust you you're not lying you're 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 not feeling well you have submitted the documents as well so you can take a day off a paid day off maybe that's your sick leave right so it's not always about money because at the end of the day what will happen if that employee doesn't feel appreciated doesn't feel respected doesn't feel you know um heard basically then when once he's at work as well he won't practice with full determination he won't be happy with Uh, the whole situation he'll just consider that job as a job right not his responsibility at all so this is something which is very important to understand what business ethics are the reason i gave you an outline of this was that you should very well know what this is about because uh, ethical dilemmas if you want to understand what that concept is is very essential to understand what business ethics itself is right so an overview was required uh, maybe a, it was a bit longer but the sole reason is because we always uh, you know i uh, put the lecture every week and i just don't want you to forget the concepts that we have learned the so far so that's why i always try to you know include some kind of slide in my lectures which is going to recall all the concepts that you have studied earlier so it's this is one thing which is extremely important i hope this is clear to everyone uh, business ethics you know we have already done this multiple times i told you what are you know key elements of the business ethics that we can discuss and i have also given you the example of stakeholders i have given you the definition of stakeholders what they are i have given you examples of employees and investors as stakeholders what stake they have in the business and how you should treat them right if uh, i give a very big example of an employee as well similarly if an investor he has invested money and if he you know at times need some kind of assistance with understanding what's going on and you just tell him that just stay out of it man you're not you know you just give money will give you the profit no it's not about money he sh- he has invested money he should know what's going on or maybe he should get, be involved in what ever is going on so that he feels appreciated he feels valued so this is again an example of following the uh, moral principles and tr- uh, just addressing the issue of right and wrong within a business so this is what it, this was all about moving on to the next slide ethical dilemmas in business a very important uh, you know a slide with this image which is super super insightful you can see that this person is what can you i wish we were actually sitting together if we were sitting together i would have asked this question that what do you think about this slide what is this picture showing you this picture basically shows me that this person is super confused he doesn't know what he has to do that hence the question mark that what is he supposed to do right these arrows some of the thoughts are taking him to this way some of them to this way some of them to this way some of them to this way right so he's confused he's in a dilemma he doesn't know maybe let's just take it an example that he's a businessman who uh, he's a businessman who wants to you know take a decision uh regarding salaries right to increase the salaries for the employees or not he knows that if he's going to increase the salaries because the inflation is high and if he, you know the the employees they are expecting a pay rise and if he's going to increase their salaries it's going to affect on his cost his business cost right it, the cost is going to increase and hence the profit uh would decrease uh, or be, will be lower at that particular time and he has raised the price uh, raise the salaries for the employees now he's confused whether he should do that or not what's the right decision i have just opened this business for uh you know i've opened this business for my uh you can say you know my interest my profit why should i think about employees this is going to affect my profit uh, i'm paying them the salaries they're okay with it i mean they're not going to leave the job the job market is so bad you know there's so much unemployment they, they won't take any stand for themselves so it's fine then he's thinking no the employees work so hard maybe you know um if i'm going to give them this incentive they're going to work even more harder and maybe it's going to increase my profits in the long run because they'll 
understand and appreciate that i thought about them so these are the ethical dilemmas and situations where which arise in a business where the owners don't understand even i'm just giving an example of owner right now that owners in a business they don't understand what they're supposed to do similarly employees when they're tempted by you know a uh, dishonest work if they want if someone is telling them to do something wrong it's going to earn them a lot of money they're having the thoughts whether i should be loyal towards the organization whether i should show honesty or maybe i should just you know just do what i feel like i mean i should not care about honesty and all these things i should care about my money so these are different things that an employee can also have in mind right so i'm just going to read this slide for better understanding due to enlarged prominence of business ethics from past few decades this field is suffering and facing absence of proper direction and other concerns like reasons logic etc right so due to like you know large prominence of business ethics now in the in the past few decades the the business ethics is actually flourishing right everyone wants to talk about it everyone wants to understand it but this field is suffering uh, because of proper direction because no one the business owners don't have time to set business ethics in the organization they have time to set up uh, policies and you know you can say plans and uh, strategies to in- increase their profits but they don't have time to sort out this that how are they going to you know uh, maintain a business with that is following business ethics and working on moral principles right so uh, in the past few days or past few years you can say people are not paying much attention to business ethics because they think that okay well, oh no why to pay attention to business ethics like i gave you the example of salaries the person would think with logic that no it's going to increase my cost so let's not just give them the salary rise right so it, no proper attention is being given to this concept there are wide range of issues of business ethics observed by market anal- analysts so market analysts when they're you know observing the market they are seeing that there are a lot of business ethic issues that are in a business as i mentioned we have already discussed those and we're going to go in further detail of them then we have issues like fairness honesty and justice are the main issues that are posing complex dilemma to the businesses in general terms they it's written fairness honesty justice maybe a person who is a favorite of any boss he wants to give him some uh, you know uh, you can say some extra favors but he knows that he is doing wrong with the other employees so fairness is question honesty if an employee is tempted to do something wrong he knows that his honesty is being compromised but he's confused it's going to earn, earn him you know uh, m- maybe some bugs some money so what should he do justice justice you know uh, your boss maybe one of his favorite employees has done something wrong you know someone who he trusted the most out of everyone and that person that employee betrayed him and but still he just he doesn't want to do anything bad with him he's not he doesn't want to practice justice and justice instead he's blaming some other employee or something like that so there these are so many issues that can come in a business i'm just giving you this random example right so wrong or biased decisions is another big dilemma and can badly affect generosity of the business so wrong and biased decisions again favoritism can come any other thing you know biased decisions can come that no in search certain if if the if the cons, if the you know topic of discussion is salary rise then no uh, we're not going to increase the salaries but if the topic of discussion is to you know uh, maybe increase uh, you can say time that should be uh, you know t- work hours maybe so yes that should be done why so that's a biased decision where you're not thinking about your employees but of your business only or you're f- favorite uh, doing favoritism with one person and not uh you know doing it with the like you know other so the thing is that there are many dilemmas that can come in a business these are called ethical dilemmas in a business and it's a very important concept for you to understand i didn't want to rush on it that's why i took some time that to make you understand that what a dilemma actually is right so a dilemma is a situation in which a difficult choice has to be made between two or more alternatives especially ones that are equally undesirable all right so you don't know what you're supposed to do and you're in a ethical dilemma you think both of these things would be negative for you but you don't know what to take a this uh, you know decision on that so you are confused and you know that especially the ones that are but it can it's not just the undesirable one even the desirable ones you're just confused about the, which choice you should make and in a business the best example is profit or ethics right and you, you should understand how to keep a balance that we have been discussing this since the first lecture that balance is a very important element over here 
all right guys so um let's move to the next slide now and if again as i always say if you have any questions do let me know okay and just write the just comment and i'll try to answer those 